Good morning, everyone. Um, I had a dream this last Saturday evening, February 3rd, and then I, I prayed about it yesterday, and then I had another dream um, with the same theme last night. So, um, and then it brought to mind what I actually read last night before I went to bed. It was Genesis 41, 32. It's when Joseph was interpreting the dreams for, for Pharaoh. And really it wasn't even Joseph interpreting. It was God giving him the interpretation. So, um, but Pharaoh had two dreams, um, both with the same theme or the same interpretation. And um, Joseph answered, why was the dream doubled for Pharaoh? Because the matter has been fixed by God and God will shortly cause it to happen. So I thought, okay, between um, reading that last night and then having the second dream last night with the same theme, I was like, okay, well, I have to share. Um, and then some scriptures came to mind afterwards. So first I'll just tell you the dream that happened Saturday night. Um, I was in a store, I was buying hygiene toiletries um, to prepare for a trip. And as I turned around and walked towards the cashier, this woman started walking extremely close to me, like almost like she was following me. Um, and it was like shoulder to shoulder. So she got to the counter, the, the checkout counter at the same time. And I thought it was odd, but I just, you know, pushed my things forward like I was ready. And she actually um, insisted that she had got there first, that she was before me. And then she pushed her items um, towards the cashier ahead of me. So I was like, okay, I let her go. Um, and then she started talking to, to the clerk and I just kind of looked at her and I was like, you know, um, you are mean spirited. I said, you're, you're just really, you, you have a mean spirit about you. And I, I told her, I was like, I'm not mad. I've, I forgive you. Um, but you just have a mean spirit about you. You also have a glow though. Um, which was an, kind of an odd thing to, to say to her, but I, I was telling her that, and then the cashier cut me off and said, Mercedes. And then he motioned for me to look down at the sheet of paper that, that he had given me. And when I looked down at the sheet of paper, I noticed that it was a, a guide to different watches and warnings for, for the weather. So there was a tornado watch in, in green and then explained what, what that meant and then instructions. And then there was a tornado warning that was written in red and then it had the instructions for that and just kind of an explanation. Um, so what I got from, from that dream was that um, I was on a mission. I was getting ready to check out to go to go to you know to go on a trip. Um, I was buying hygiene products, so um, cleanliness was was important to me. Um, and even though this this lady was you know just kind of not very nice, kind of rude and um, mean spirited, I I shouldn't be concerned with with what other people are doing. I need to stay on task. And I feel like that the clerk interrupting me and, and you know, telling me to, to read the sheet of paper that, that he had given to me um, about the watches and warnings, I need to stay on task. I need to, to pay attention and, and to not be distracted um, by what's going on around me too much. So, um, and what came to mind was Revelation um, chapter 22, where it says, Whoever keeps acting wickedly, let him go on acting wickedly. Whoever is filthy, let him go on being made filthy. And whoever is righteous, let him go on doing what is righteous. And whoever is holy, let him go on being made holy. Pay attention, says Yeshua. I am coming soon, and my rewards are with me to give to each person according to what he has done. I am the A and the Z, the first and the last, the beginning and the end. How blessed are those who wash their robes so that they have the right to eat from the tree of life and go through the gates into the city. So yeah, this, the, this gal wasn't being very nice, um, but I shouldn't be concerned about that. I need to pay attention. We all need to be paying attention, especially all the watchmen. Um, we need to, to keep our eyes fixed on the watches and warnings that, that he gives us and, and not be distracted by um, the behavior of others around us too much, um, to not let that, you know, get us off, off mission. Um, and then it says, how blessed are those who wash their robes. I was buying hygiene products. So we all need to be, uh, washing our robes, keeping our robes clean. The ones that he has given us, 
um, so that we have the right to eat from the tree of life and go through the gates into the city. And the rest of uh, Revelation 22, it's the very last book of the Bible. Um, I just felt like I should just continue and, and, and read what the rest of the chapter is. Outside are the homosexuals, those involved with the occult and with the, and with the drugs, the sexually immoral, murderers and idol worshipers, and everyone who loves and practices falsehood. I, Yeshua, have sent my angel to give you this testimony for the messianic communities. I am the root and the offspring of David, the bright and morning star, the bright morning star. The spirit and the bride say, come, let anyone who is thirsty come. Let anyone who wishes take the water of life free of charge. I warn everyone hearing the words of the prophecy in this book that if anyone adds to them, God will add to them the plagues written in this book. And if anyone takes anything away from the words in this book or of this prophecy, God will take away his share in the tree of life in the holy city as described in this book. The one who is testifying to, to these things says, yes, I am coming soon. Amen. Come, Lord Yeshua. May the grace of the Lord Yeshua be with you all. So thank you. Um, I hope you all have a blessed day. And uh, just keep your, keep your lamps full of oil because he's coming soon. Love you. Bye.